In this video, I'll show you how to take this number of days currently shown as a decimal and split it down into days, hours, minutes, and seconds. In Excel, the first thing to do is just decide what you want to achieve and what your end result should be. Once you've done that, it just comes down to logic. And often that's nothing to do with Excel and just about the maths. Once you've got over that, there's loads of different approaches to achieve the same result. Some are better, some are worse, and some people will argue with you all day as to what the best way is. For me, it's about if you get your end result and it runs quickly in Excel and you've achieved what you want to, then you've nailed it. I've picked a method here which is going to allow us to demonstrate whilst breaking down through the logical steps. Where possible, I've kept the formulas simple and separate in their own cells, although there'd be possibility to aggregate them up if we wanted to at a later date. So for now, I've cleared the worksheet and I want you to think of each of these yellow and blue things as questions. How many days is a question? How many total days is also a question? So how many days are there? We know that if we equal this 5.65 up here, then that's going to give us the total number of days. It's rounded here to two decimal places. To get that, we just took the parcel due for delivery date and subtracted the parcel sent date. And that gave us 5.6509 or rounded 5.65 days. But how do we get just the days? We know, obviously, that there's five days in that and the rest is hours and minutes and seconds, etc. In Excel, there's a formula called round down. If you type equals round down, open brackets, it's asking for a number. We can just reference the cell, 5.65. If we put a comma in, it says num digits. It wants us to tell it how many digits we want to round down to. And we want to round down to zero digits. So if we put zero, close the brackets there, we get five. So how many days? 5.65. How many total days? Five the exact number of days, excluding any remainder. So it seems logical that we've got 5.65 days in total and we've got five complete days. So if we subtract one from the other, it will leave us the number of non-complete days, which would be the number of hours, minutes and seconds left. So to do that in Excel, we would simply take our uh, 5.65, subtract the five, and that will give us a 0.65. What it's not doing though, is showing it in hours. We learned in the last video that Excel expresses time between zero and one, with zero being midnight on one day and the one being midnight on the next day, a complete day. The middle, 0 0.5, would be midday. So 0 0.5 would be 12 hours on from midnight, the zero. So zero to 0 0.5 is 12 hours. The full span would be 24 hours. So if we take our data that we've got in that cell, that 0 0.65, multiply it by 24 it should give us it in hours so excel uses the bodmas rules of arithmetic b in bodmas means brackets and what it means is it's going to calculate anything in brackets first so to transform this 0 0.65 and multiply it by 24 we need to stick some brackets around it in excel you've got the star which is multiplication symbol and we want to times it by 24 hit enter 15.44 hours altogether. Just like before, we're going to use round down on the hours to get the total or complete number of hours that we've got in this example here. So round down and click on here. And again, we want to round down to zero, which will give us hopefully 15. So there's 15 complete hours. The rest is minutes and seconds. Hopefully you see where we're going with this. Often in Excel, if you're struggling with a problem, you need to break it down, put Excel away for a minute, get a bit of paper out, or just sit and have a think. If you break it down into steps, it's often easier to work it out. All we're doing here is taking a total with some decimals on the end, skimming off the balance, and rounding the previous bit up. Then we're just going to keep going down through hours, minutes, and seconds doing the same. So let's carry on. So again, we're going to subtract the complete hours off the total hours remaining. So equals this 15.41, subtract the complete hours, and we've got 0.36. You'll notice how it's changed, and that is because the parcel sent date is set to equals now, our formula, and it's updating all the time. So everything else around it updates all the time. And the beauty of that is, once we've set it up once, we can throw two different dates in, and it will work it out for us without us having to do any of this ever again. So to get the total minutes, we just use our round down formula again. You can see that in there. I'm not going to go through it in detail. To get the remaining seconds, we just subtract the total. So 
total minutes all together and then we subtract off the 19 complete minutes and that leaves us with 0.6 you can see everything's changed again as i explained earlier and why because of this now formula so we've got 0.6 seconds left which is obviously not correct to transform it into seconds we do exactly what we did with minutes the number of seconds in a minute is 60 so we stick our brackets in and that multiplied by 60 got 13.3 seconds just to complete it how many total seconds we're going to round down again we could go into milliseconds here but we're not going to so we round down that number to zero and we've got now 59 seconds remaining that gives us a total of five days 15 hours 16 minutes and 59 seconds if we keep hitting this in here it's going to update and you can see it's counting down for us so hopefully you found that useful but what you've probably noticed is that the numbers are scattered all over the screen and from a presentation perspective it's not that pretty so there's a formula we can use called concatenate where we can bring all of those numbers together numbers cells words and other things into a string of text and make it much more easy to read over to the left here you can see an example of how that might look and if you want to learn how to do it then join me in the next video where i'm going to show you through it in detail